For me, my house was the most beautiful and secure shelter. I tried to make my place as gorgeous as possible. I created floral patterns in the railings on both sides of the home to make it seem more elegant. There were numerous flowers in the yard, including roses. The women in the house knew their names. The breeze wafted a fragrance while the flowers were in blossom. My house has a spacious yard on all sides. There were jujube, bombax, banana, and mango trees, betel nut, coconut, and date trees, and a huge rain tree. The rain tree provided beautiful shade because it was so wide. When it was hot at midday, I would sit in the shade and talk while drinking tea and water. Children used to come and play with my kids in that yard. I enjoyed watching them play. I used to give two hours of private tutoring in the morning and evening on my spacious veranda. And I used to teach in a private school that had hundreds of kids. When I gave private lessons, stress would disappear. I pushed everything aside. That tension could not come to me during the two hours I was teaching. I taught not just Rohingya, but also many Buddhist students. Inshallah, several of my Buddhist students have become teachers now. When I think about home, it feels like a second heaven compared to here.